Hi, welcome to Call That Living. I'm Chi, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a vision board, a digital one that you could put on your phone as a wallpaper. Um, the same technique, you can use it to make one for your wall, for your desktop, for your computer, for your laptop, your Mac, or one for your tablet. Perhaps you're into digital planners, and you can make one that can go into your digital planner if you use like Good Notes on the iPad or Zodo on Android. So I'm just going to turn away because I've got two monitors, and I'm looking at the big one for this tutorial. So we're going to use Canva. It's a free tool, Canva.com. You can use the free, or you can use the paid. I still use the free. I'm thinking about moving up to the pay, but that's only because I'll be selling templates and I think it's better if you're actually doing a lot of business stuff, it's best to have the professional one. But for this, the free is good. So I'd click template and I put in for phone wallpaper. So it's giving me the size. You've also got like some ideas here. It's kind of like inspiration. So I'm starting off with a blank one. So we're going to make it up as we go i'm making it up as we go along so it's going to be interesting but anyway so the next thing we do is go to grids and grids are basically just layouts for images because that's what a vision board is it's a collection of images that inspire you that is like a visual representation of the goals that you have so i'm going to try that one and i'm just going to resize it and I'm thinking I will copy it. So that's copy page. Oops, not copy page. Copy, right click, copy. And then paste, right click, paste. I'm going to rotate it. Oops, rotate it. And place it on the top. So. I would like them to be the same, so I'm going to move them down so that they link together. And then I shift, clicked on both, and that kind of like groups them. And then I'm going to just make them smaller so they fit, and then one by one make them wider. And then I'm just going to make a little bit of a gap here because I quite like it when there's like a little bit of a gap in the design sort of like borders so these are grids where you're going to put your images so with a vision board the really important thing is that you are basically turning your written goals your written dreams into a visual representation of those and it's really powerful because you know you might not have time to look at your goals every day like reading them out and you just want something that's quick which you'll always see and if it's on your phone <laughs> you're gonna see it if you're like me you're gonna see that every day um so it's really helpful because it just means you've got your goals in a very easy to digest format you could just quickly look at it and you're reminded of what you're working on you're reminded of you know what your goal is and it kind of and the other thing about it is actually it motivates you and it and it does something it just kind of excites you because it's just it's like you can't help but be excited when you well i can't help but be excited when i look at my vision board and it's like all the things i'm going to work on and so it really motivates and excites me so you need to find some images that are inspiring to you so perhaps you want to look at like home and then you just save your images. You can find them in somewhere like Drop, um, at Pinterest or Google. Maybe you have images, photographs that you've taken, photos from holidays. So collect uh, some photos. I have a board on Pinterest that is motivational um, posts motivational quotes board and let me just find it look and get you know get some ideas pull some of mine use some of the ones that I've got saved so you can just find some ones that you know jump out at you that you really identify with that you feel excited about and then save them 
then you might have goals uh, for f sort of health and food. So just, you know, whatever it is, just pop it in the search bar and find an image that, oh, I like the other one. <laughs> find an image. Okay, so imagine like you've done that now. I already had some of mine saved. So in Canva, you go to Uploads, Upload an image or video, and then find your folder and upload those images that you want to add. Then they'll come up here. Then you just grab one and drop it in. Drop it in where you like it. Drop it in anywhere you like. So I have some images I had already saved, so I'm going to use those. Just going to scroll down, find them. Here we go. So I was quite inspired. Family is really important to me, so I'll put this one in there of this happy family stolen on the beach. I've got two boys, so <laughs> that kind of could be it. I'll oh, make it happen. Just realise those are upside down, so I am not going to use that one. I like this quote. Mm, always seek the light. So we go back to grid elements, and then you've got all the grids here. And I'm just wondering if they have like the reverse grid of that. I'm going to try that one. And you just change the size by moving it up and down. Oops, I've got one, two, three, that's got five images. I'm just wondering if there's the reverse of it because that would be quite cool to have it like reverse mirror. So I'm just going to pull that to the side and then pop that one in. Cause that looks like the reverse of that doesn't it yeah i quite like that and a little bit of space move that down move it up and then i've got a little gap okay i'm going to go back to that downloads and put, put a new one in so you just find the images that you had that were inspiring to you perhaps it's a family goal about your relationships Perhaps it's a goal, um, you know, you have some fun goals about, you know, what you'd like your house to look like or some things that you'd like to have. Perhaps you're into, you know, you want to do some more like photo for photography. So you quite fancy get one of these like new Polaroid type cameras or you want to work at home and you currently work in the office but you'd like to work at home so you could put like a home office there because it's kind of reminding you of that goal of getting to work at home perhaps it's working for yourself or maybe it's just being allowed to work at home a couple of days a week at work so that's like a goal um love i like <laughs> a phrase like love it's like who doesn't want more love in their life and uh stay weird i quite actually like that <laughs> Because I think oftentimes we just want to blend in and be like everyone else and we actually just need to stay our weird, wonderful selves. <laughs> um, oh, like, yeah, we might have some health goals and but you want your healthy food to be like totally delicious and look great. So you want to treat yourself by making these amazing looking um, smoothies and smoothie bowls and Buddha bowls and things like that. Perhaps you've got some goals of travel, somewhere tropical maybe, or mountains, or who knows, whatever it is that you're excited about. And you might have a thing where you'd love to just impact other people's lives. So you'd like to be more involved with charity. Perhaps you want to do some fundraising this year. Maybe you want to run, run a marathon to help raise money for a cause that you're really passionate about. 
So yeah, you can just put anything in like that. Mm, let me think. And if you want, you can tie it by colour, but that's really not a big deal. But it's just whatever is going to sort of speak to you and it's going to excite you. So eat, sleep, create. Because, I, I, yeah, I like that because I, I just love creating things. I love designing. I love um, making printables. I love making planners. I enjoy making videos and sharing things. So just like that creative process I really enjoy. So that one speaks to me quite a bit. Got these flamingos. Maybe I put them up here. Oh no, I'll keep them down there. And then this one probably. She designed a life she loved. But that one's not quite fitting, so maybe I'll put something else there instead. So like I said, I'm just making this on the fly. <laughs> so oh yes, that's good. Yeah, I had this notebook once because I want to bring out like even more stationery, even more planners. Um, and I love like pastels and you know, just really I like vibrant colours as well. I like quite like neons. But anyway, I want to do more with that. So that one's that one really fits with my girls. So there's like a very quick and basic one. <laughs> And if you want, you can put some wording over it. So you might just put um, how how I do it is I go put a shape. So I find a shape rectangle and then just change the size. So it's a rectangle now, not a square. Oops, I had two of them like that. And then I might just place it where I want and then put it into one of my colors and copy and paste you can also paste by you can copy by Control c on the keyboard and then Control v so just do that and then you might have some things you might just want to write um i'm not sure what i'm gonna put that on. i'm just gonna leave it there for now and then you can just use a text tool and just put some phrases use subheading and uh, mm, care all right care to care for others and you can just pick which font you like down here I'm doing a hand no it's not doesn't feel like it goes uh, I'll try this a buyer font it's quite nice yeah I'll go with that so I'm going to put here care because something I care about is A21 and I give a small um, amount of my portion of my sales to A21 and that ends that they work to end traffic Trafficking, human trafficking. So I've got to care because that's something. Um, what else? We might put your word for the year. Uh, so you might have my word this year was nurture. I'm thinking about one for next year, and I'm thinking about consistent. I think it's going to be my word. But yeah, you might put your word. Might put the year twenty twenty. Twenty twenty goals, and mm, I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Actually, you might want to just play around and look at the font color and just oh why mm, can't see it so well here, but I think when it's on your actual phone, you'll see it a bit better. Gray doesn't stand out. Blue. So you just have a play. Actually, I quite like this. Oh pink that's quite fun don't have much other pink so i will probably just go back to white and there you go and then you just need to download it so download and then it's just png but i, I go for jpeg and i've made two pages by accident but you just pick one 
and then you download it and there you go so that's how you can use canva to make yourself a vision board for your mobile phone and you can use the same technique to make one for a tablet for a but wallpaper desktop and if you want you can print it out to print it out put it in your planner put it in your notebook put it in your folder binder whatever it is and you'll find that as you keep looking at your vision board it's you're going to get excited you're going to be inspired your brain is going to be like thinking of ways to you know make those things happen you're going to find you know find you get some ideas and you know i you just get inspired to take action and help you to move forward on your goals and thanks for watching